CMS Critic, and today we're here in beautiful Amsterdam. We're going to have a chat with the fine folks from Hippo CMS. I've got uh, Arye, who's the CTO for Hippo, and TJ, who's the CMO. And we're just going to discuss a little bit about the Hippo 10 release that was just announced on the site. You may have seen that come out. And uh, talk a little bit about where you guys are going, the direction, and uh, stuff like that. So if we could start off a little bit, maybe you can talk. Are you a bit about uh, the Hippo 10 release and what's exciting for you guys? Definitely, yeah. So um, Hippo 10 is a, uh, it's like a, it's a big change for us. Uh, the previous version was 7.9. Uh, we decided because it's such a big move to um, like upgrade ourselves into into the 10 range. Right. Um, we chopped up the 7 and upgraded a 9 to a 10 version. Yeah. Um, the big change really is um, that um, we're like we're using the data that we're aggregating from visitors on the website um, to provide a better understanding to the end user and the marketeers who are using the platform um, so they can much better understand who their visitors are, what they're looking for, what content um, you know, resonates with them, what drives them to a conversion. And with Tim, we're introducing a new concept, content performance. Um, and the idea of content performance is that we're continuously measuring how well your content is performing against conversions that you have put into the system. Okay. Um, that together with the experiments functionality that we've introduced and the, the personalization that is part of the HIPAA Wellness module um, since uh, two years now, three years almost, yeah. um, means that it's a very compelling new kind of web experience management platform that allows you to create very personalized, relevant experiences and give you the ability to test whether you are actually doing it the right way um, and to see you know, you know, what, the, what the results are. So ultimately, you want to be able to drive KPIs uh, through the CMS and, and give you back the results and the graphics, you know, the charts you need to, to, uh, you know, to present them to Right, you. exactly. And TJ, maybe you could expand a little bit about that, obviously from the marketing standpoint. Um, marketing being the big focus nowadays with all the uh, catchphrases, customer experience platform, web experience management, so on and so forth. Can you talk a little bit about how you guys are um, pushing ahead of the competition as far as your focus on lending content management with marketing? Yes, so what we do with Hippo is we don't want to build out a, a complete marketing suite. So you see a lot of uh, other vendors out there which sort of expand to other uh, sort of software categories like marketing automation or e-commerce. Yeah. Uh, but what we do is, and that's what we did with CMS 10, we, we innovate within our own space. And that's exactly in the uh, area of how can you create an optimal online experience. And then you look at the customer journey, and in the end you look at what content is performing. So that's what we do with HippoCMS 10. We provide a platform which measures which content is performing, which not. And that way you can adjust your content strategy towards uh, the things you're missing, for example, within a customer journey, or the content which is not there on your online channel. So what we now have within HippoCMS 10 is we have this ability to predict trends. So from all the data we get, because we have that feedback loop, so when you attach a goal to a certain content piece, mm -hmm. you can derive, is this goal actually being met? Or should you adjust it? So we can predict trends in which content gaps do you have? Which persona are you missing on your online channel? Uh, and should you create more content for the top of the funnel, middle of the funnel, or the bottom of the funnel? So you, in the end, the HippoCMS 10 helps you towards optimizing your content strategy and in the end, obviously, creating a brilliant custom journey online. And see, that's one of the things that's, <clears throat> that's very important, I think, when you're, when you're looking at the way the space is moving, content management in general, and marketing, one of the things that I always find um, interesting is to see which CMSs are innovating the way people work with the CMS as opposed to the way the CMS works with the people. Because I think one of the things that's lacking in a lot of areas is exactly what you, it sounds like what you guys are doing. So you, you want to be able to take people who have 
not as strong knowledge in the CMS space, or they may not be professional content producers, or they mean that marketing may not be their number one strength. And and during the entire um, period that they spend with your product, what I what I think is important was is if a CMS can take that opportunity to teach them how to produce better content, yeah. right? Improve their skills and say, hey, you know, you're you're starting to write a content piece that's going down this route, but it'd be more effective if you incorporate the following keywords or you 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 create that article in this certain format it might be more appealing to the search engine. So it's training people as they use your product, how to yeah. use your product as best as the way you envision it, right? Yeah. Because <clears throat> there's a lot of products that that uh, the that I've seen before where a customer gets in and the customer drives that drives the experience and that's a, that's like that's like jumping in a car with a GPS, never being in France before and saying, okay, we'll find you know this place, and they have no idea how to get there. They just sort of pummel their way there. Yeah. Or you can give them a GPS and say, well, here's the most efficient way to get there, right? Well, exactly. What, what we want to do, what we want to allow people to do, is to to try it out. You still want to, you know, you want to be able to experiment things and see sure. what works and what doesn't. But then give uh, the user feedback on how they're doing and inspire them to give them some new insights on what to do next. Yeah. Um, but that should, of course, start very early on. So as soon as you start using Hippo, um, the platform will help you. Continuously think about the personas on your website. Uh, Cory already created some personas, uh, but you know you, you may not have a, a use for them in the CMS that you're using today. Within Hippo, you know there is a concept of a persona, so you're consciously constantly aware of what persona you're creating content for, what stage of the customer journey you are addressing when you're creating a piece of content. Right. Um, but also continuously we're, we're providing you with the data about um, all the visitors on your website and, and how well they fit these personas, whether there's anyone missing that you should be addressing, and, and what content they appreciate and what not. And um, uh, so very quickly, when, when you have people in place, you don't, you don't need to do a lot of configuration to actually set that up. Mm -hmm. um, you need to have content in there, your site needs to be run on people, obviously, but very quickly it will give you um, the statistics and the information so you can drill down into the data sets and do trends analysis, which is one of the functions of CMS10, right. um, to, to get insight, to gain insights to, you know, to, to get the ball rolling. We want to allow people to, you know, in a very easy way, get started with personalization and, um, and relevant experiences. And, and that's our goal. We want to make it a, like a very simple uh, way to, to, get, to get in and to help the user understand better what it is that they do next. Yeah, absolutely. So what do you think is, is the strength that Hippo has over all the other products that are out there? I mean, obviously, people visiting my site, for instance, they're, a lot of them are overwhelmed. There's thousands of products that are on the market. Uh, in the enterprise space, there's hundreds of products that are competing for the right to be the CMS that you choose, right? So what do you think makes Hippo a strong contender in that space? I mean, obviously, we've got, uh, got your People's Choice Award for Best Enterprise CMS, so people see that you're, you've got a great enterprise solution, but for those who haven't seen it yet, maybe you could talk a little bit about that. Yeah, what we see is obviously there's a lot of different uses for different products out there. Uh, and we really focus on the, on the enterprise. Um, and what we see in our sort of ideal customer profile, uh, traditionally there are quite some people which are influencing the buying cycle. So that's also the personas we are addressing with every release. Uh, so our product is not purely focused on the developer or the editor or the marketeer, but it's actually making sure that all these different personas can work together and continuously improve the product. So when you have a large online channel and there's a large team working on that in all different areas, so the editorial teams creating content uh, the marketeers are creating different experiments and, and different configurations within the templates. Uh, the developers are creating new applications and new functionality. They have to be able to to do that in in, in a way that they all can work together. And uh, our product is uh, really good 
in making sure that an enterprise can stay agile and that an enterprise is capable of continuously innovate within that online channel. So that's sort of the building blocks and, and, and what we see in, in all our sort of, uh, in our customer base is there's a lot of integrations in place. So uh, when you have a large online ecosystem, there are normally a lot of other applications coming in that. Uh, there's a lot of content coming from distant systems. Your customer profile is not stored in one system, but it's a multiple system. So it's only in Salesforce, it's in your marketing automation. The really interesting aspect of HIPAA is that it's really good with integrating all these systems by using obviously uh, all the open standards and our open source background. Uh, it's a system which is is perfectly addressing this sort of need to continuously innovate and incorporate uh, other uh, systems and, and data sources. So that's really the, the bottom part mm -hmm. uh, with HIPAA CMS 10. We really move towards uniqueness on the, on the top part where we see the business and that's uh, that we create a platform which can now drive not just and the bottom part is more the productivity but then the top part is also run your return uh, or look at your return on investment right. so what kind of goals do you have in your online channel do you want to increase conversion do you want to get more brand awareness that you're capable of actually attaching these goals in the system and that the system can show are you doing a good job, which editors are effective, etc. So our system is, is really addressing both these areas now with the CMS 10. So one final question before we end off this interview. I just want to get kind of your take on the market itself. So if you guys can tell me um, the way that the market currently is positioned, is there anything that you think, if you had an opportunity to shape it, to mold it into a into um, a better place. What would you do? What would you change about it to make it better suit the customer, or your, perhaps your product, or anything along those lines? Your thoughts on that? Obviously, the, the market is it's, it's a broad term, mm -hmm. um, but I uh, at least what we try to do, and I, I hope that others will follow, is. Uh, there has been a notion a couple of years ago that sort of content management itself, there's, there's not really innovation going on within content management anymore. It's been there, done that, uh, kind of. So in my view, a lot of vendors moved out of innovating within that space. And I think that uh, a lot of people have addressed content management as being the backbone of digital experiences. Uh, but I think we can do a lot better, and, uh, and that's what we try to do with Hippocamus 10: is innovate within our space, and not just be that backbone, but actually show what's happening online and act on that, and really become that player where everything comes together and, and build out that experience. Very good. I like it. That sounds like pretty much where everyone should be going, they agree, and I think uh, content management systems in general, um, there's not, when, when you hear the term tossed around, it's not always in the most positive way. It's, it, it, there's some associations with it that can be, that can be improved, let's put it that way. Um, final thoughts, anything for the people that are listening, um, let's, let's say they're interested in learning more about HIPPO, Product. How can they find out more about the product? Uh, where can they go to learn more? And uh, we'll close off on that. So you can go ahead and let people know. Uh, obviously, to onehippo.com. Okay. Uh, there's actually also a community website, onehippo.org, where you can download the product and play with it. Okay. Um, on onehippo.com, you can actually also play with the enterprise edition online. So um, yeah, just please check it out. And if you have any questions, also on onehippo.org, there's a, a huge mailing list where a lot of people are really actively uh, sort of engaging with all the developers and users of our system. Perfect. Well, thank you very much, guys. It was great talking with you today. And uh, for those of you that uh, uh, are watching this, I'll put more information below in a number of links leading off to the Hippo website as well as the community edition. Uh, stay tuned as well 
following this interview, within the next uh, week or so, you'll see a product walkthrough that will show you a little bit about Hippo 10, and you'll have an opportunity to see what it looks like behind the scenes. And of course, feel free to leave comments either in the article or within our forum, and we'll be happy to get back to you and put you in touch with the right people. Thanks for staying tuned.